What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid Fort Fabian back with another reaction video for you guys. And today I'm reacting to a trending video. We have he spoke at his friend's funeral, then his family learned he killed him. This is number nine on trending um, today, you know, January 23rd, 2022. So this was uploaded by WTVR CBS 6, and um, the description mentions. From 2017 until now, the McCormick family endured a plea deal thrown out by a judge or prosecutor who had his law license suspended. Another prosecutor was removed from the case. New more serious charges and COVID delays. Hmm. But this is an interesting title. This happened in Richmond, Virginia. Um, but um, spoke at his friend's funeral. Then the family learns that he actually kills him. Okay, we got to check this one out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Fort Worth Fabian. It's the road to a million. Peace, love to everybody rocking with the channel, man. Let's get into this reaction. Boom solver Melissa Hippolyte has been investigating for years. Yesterday, a Richmond man was found guilty of causing a boating accident that killed one of his friends. Tonight, Melissa spoke with the victim's family about the verdict. Two years ago, Rand Hooper agreed to plead guilty in exchange for one year behind bars, but a judge threw out that plea agreement, calling it inappropriate. And now Rand Hooper faces up to 15 years behind bars. When Graham McCormick's family asked Rand Hooper to speak at his funeral. We never dreamed he was in, somehow involved in Graham's death. For weeks after Graham's body was found floating in the water where Carter's Creek meets the Rappahannock River, Rand told investigators that he, Graham, and another man played cards and drank on the dock of his parents' river house. And then they all went to bed. When Rand woke up, Graham was nowhere to be found. And Rand speculated he had gone out on the dock to call his girlfriend and fallen into the water. Or perhaps he had a panic attack and went to the emergency room. Mm. He even watched as Graham's mother used an oar to search the water by the dock for her son. So he told this whole story. He told a straight face, bold face lie. That's basically what happened, but y'all. Uh... Hmm. What really happened, though? We thought Rand Hooper was a close family friend. But 25 days after detectives recovered Graham's body, his family received some shocking news. Rand had just told detectives in the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office that he and Graham took a boat ride in the early morning hours of August 11th in 2017. Hooper said he could not remember who was driving the boat, but he remembered the boat hitting something hard, turning the boat's engine off, calling out for Graham, and when he didn't see or hear him, he figured his friend was a good swimmer and could make it to shore, got his bearings straight to the tides in, and then remembered nothing after that. They've never expressed any remorse or said they were sorry. So he hit something, maybe the boat, the boat shifted, altered a little bit. Um, knocked him over so from my understanding he left him there didn't try to search for him and then he said he forgot what happened that's a horrible friend right there or anything it's just sense of, a social sense of betrayal that my family feels the revelation came after lancaster detectives discovered a boston whaler boat at the hooper home with a large amount of damage that matched damage on the bulkhead where they found graham's body but when police charged Rand in connection with Graham's death, that was only the beginning in the McCormick family's four and a half year fight for justice. Two and a half years ago when things went Two sideways, and a half years. Uh, I felt alone, I felt uh, abandoned, I felt like we, my family was, uh, well, kind of left out in the cold. Um, and I prayed and asked for I asked God for warriors. This case has had more twists and turns than a bobsled run. From 2017 this, yeah, until now, the McCormicks fact, endured a plea deal thrown out by a judge, a prosecutor who had his law license suspended, another prosecutor who was removed from the case, new, more serious charges, and COVID delays. I've spent the majority of my 20s waiting for justice for my brother. On Thursday, their long wait finally came to an end when a Norfolk jury found Rand Hooper guilty of involuntary manslaughter Jeez. and failure to stop and render assistance in a boating crash. The judge revoked his bond. My life has been on hold. 
and for the first time I really feel like I am going to be able to move forward. Once I saw that the handcuffs go on, that's when it became real and um, that's when uh, I felt like it was time to turn the page and I got my life back. Next up in this case, the judge will determine Rand Hooper's sentence. Now, during the prosecution of this case, they were not allowed to bring up Rand Hooper's prior record of DUIs, mm. as well as the time that he shot his friend while drunk in the family. He shot his friend while drunk. He got DUIs and he crashes boats. Man, get this guy out of here, bro. Get this guy out of here. And district, but during the sentencing phase, the judge can consider those things. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6. Hey, RP to Graham McCormick, man. RP. That being said, that's crazy. So basically, what he had amnesia or something? He didn't know he. I forgot. Oh, we actually had a crash and then I uh, left my buddy stranded. That's wild, man. I don't know what would possess you to just ditch him, you know? Not even look for him or see what happened to him. But uh, I wasn't aware of this story. I suppose this was two years ago. And they're now coming to some sort of conclusions and getting further understanding, which is crazy, man. Condolences to the family, RP, um, to the one lost, you know, Graham, uh, the McCormick family. Condolences, man. And, uh, you know, justice has been served, you know. Uh, it's crazy how things come to light eventually. Sometimes it takes longer. There's a lot of different cases where things take decades to even come uh, to light. But, uh, you know, I feel like there's always some sort of appreciation, understanding that justice in some shape or form is served. You know, uh, the guilty is put behind bars, etc. But let me know y'all's thoughts on this one in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Fort Worth Fabian. It's the road to a million, man. Peace, love. We're out of here.